the AMG GT3 of Peter Hackett and Dominic Storey will start from pole position for Sunday's 500km CAMS Australian Endurance Championship race at Phillip Island. Hackett and Storey set the fastest average lap time between the two drivers to edge out the Porsche 911 GTR of Liam Talbot and John Martin. The second row will see the Jeff Emery and Gas Tander Audi in third alongside the Lamborghini of Peter Major and Glenn Wood. Supercar driver David Russell set the day's fastest individual lap time with a 126.9499 second lap in the Lamborghini that he'll share with team owner Roger Largo. The 500 kilometre race will start at the decidedly civilised time of 1.40 p.m. That's Melbourne time, Sunday afternoon. There was some great racing in the CAMS Australian Formula 4 Championship. Tyler Everingham and Ryan Shule both claimed their maiden race wins in Saturday's two races at the island. Shule became the youngest ever race winner in Australian Formula 4, leading home Cameron Shields and current championship leader Liam Lawson to take his maiden win in race one. Shule led early in race two before an incident with Shields at the high speed Dewan corner, which clearly got the young driver's attention. Oh yeah, there wasn't much time actually, I got a, um, much time to think about it, but we got a bit of air and uh, yeah, and just, I would say enjoy the ride, but it wasn't enjoyable, uh, yeah, but yeah, it's alright. Yeah, as long as the car's straight, I think we we did a floor and um, a front wing, but other than that, it should be alright. With both Shule and Shields out of contention, Tyler Everingham took the lead after a fierce battle with Zane Morse and Lawson in the second race. Despite damaging his front wing, Everingham hung on to beat Morse and Lawson with Nick Rowe and Shule recovering to round out the top five. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Um, definitely, definitely a crazy win considering I started 10th um, for my first win, but it's awesome. I'll take it while I get it. Um, yeah, it was definitely a crazy race. Uh, car sustained some damage probably about halfway through, so I struggled with a fair bit of understeer due to the damage to the front wing. Didn't notice that coming. Uh, that was going down into Honda. I mean, it was, as you say, a few laps from the end. Uh, how much of a difference did that make to the handling? Um, it's crazy, the difference. Uh, I think I probably lost about 2Ks down the straight um, just from a more drag and struggled with really bad understeer through turn one. So couldn't had to wind on a lot more steering lock than, than what I would like to. So that washes off more speed. So where does this put you at the moment in the championship? I'm not 100% sure, but coming into this weekend, I think I was six. Um, but it, it will really boost my championship up. Now, I take it you've come from a, a karting background, is that correct? Yes, correct. I've done uh, five years in go-karts, um, just went up through the ranks. I started when I was about 10, um, yeah, and just progressed into cars and it's going really well. So have you found the transition? There's been a bit of controversy around as to whether Formula 4 is a, in fact the best step for young car to come through. How have you found the cars to, to drive in your first year? Um, they're definitely challenging. Uh, when you first jump in them, they're, they're a bit a um, little bit hard to, to get your head around how much grip the tyres have. Um, but once you get them on the limit, it's definitely, definitely really, really um, slippery. And... Uh, you really have to have to get in the limit to be fast. So uh, it's been really challenging. It's taken me probably about a year and a half to do so. Um, and I finally got my race win and showing some really good pace. Do you think, as uh, Jackie Stewart always used to say, the first win is the hardest in Formula 1? Do you think that that's the case with you now, now that you've actually you know, greeted the chequered flag first, that it might be a little bit, uh, a little bit more comfortable for you now? Um, yeah, it's definitely, definitely the hardest first win. Um, it's more about confidence and just knowing that you can do it um, uh, to get you another win, you know. So you can um, really, really know that you can do it now and that you can, you can win quite easily. All Sunday's action will be streamed live from Phillip Island, starting at 9am Melbourne time and with heavy rain, hail and thunderstorms forecast, things could get pretty interesting. For all the details, check out inpitlane.com.